Hello guys, it has been quite a while since I filmed a favorites video and I miss them so much so I want to share some of my favorites with you today. I get so many questions on the vlogs over on my vlog channel because I'm, I'm a lot more consistent on that channel. Um, I asked all the time about what makeup I'm wearing, what product I'm using, uh, what foundation are you wearing, what lip product, you all know, those types of things. So I just figured I would share my favorites with you, things that I've been loving recently and stuff that I would recommend. Um, some of these things, I guess, would kind of be summary related as far as the makeup that I've been using recently, but I will be sharing skincare products. I will be sharing hair products. I wanted to do just like a bunch of favorites and not just makeup related things because I've really just not stuck to makeup on this channel and I've become more lifestyle. I like to share all different types of favorites with you guys. Maybe I will do actually a separate lifestyle favorites um, as far as like accessories or <laughs> dog favorites or like, I don't know, household favorites. That could be a whole nother video because I like to share more on this channel than just beauty. I've become more of a lifestyle channel and kind of lost myself a little bit over here. So I'm trying to get back into filming and like sitting down and I do a lot of like follow me around vlogs over on my vlog channel and I'm like I said, more consistent over there. So I do want to kind of separate some of these things to be over on this channel, some sit down videos. So let's get started. Um, I am gonna do skincare, I think, first. Um, and I'm gonna start off with some of my empties, actually, <laughs> because I've gone through several of these products and they are almost empty or completely empty. And I've really, really liked them and I plan to do some repurchasing. So I'm going to show some Ole Hendrickson um, products. The first product is one of their cleansers, the Wonder Feel Double Cleanser. I really enjoy this. I use the entire bottle. It is super moisturizing. I have very dry skin. It's worked really well for my skin. I felt and like it cleaned my face really great. I, I use this actually with like my spin brush from Vanity Planet. I love using this with a brush. It's very creamy and a little goes a long way. So I feel like I just get a really deep clean from this and I just love how thick it is. My, my face actually feels moisturized after I use this. It doesn't feel completely stripped. Like do you ever wash your face and your face feels so dry after? This doesn't make my skin feel like that. So this is one of my favorites um, as far as cleanser. I've pretty much used the whole bottle. I can't even squeeze any more out. Another product that I've really been liking, and I also, I want to mention, because I did hear about these products from Jamie Genevieve. She's a fellow YouTuber. I've actually met her before when I was in London, um, but I love her videos, and she did like a whole skincare uh, regimen video, and I found out these products from her. She really liked them, so I decided to give them a try. So this is the Ole Hendrickson um, Glow Cycle Retin. ALT, ALT, I think, Power Serum. So this is actually an age-fighting facial serum. I use the entire bottle of this. I cannot get any more out. It actually comes out as like a purple color, and it is supposed to help with um, cell renewal. It's supposed it also does have, I think, Retin-A in it. Who is blowing on my phone? It's not as harsh as a lot of other Retin-A products. I don't really use Retin-A all that often. I feel like you have to build up to it, like you have to get your skin used to it. So I decided to try this and I really loved it. I feel like this gives my skin such a glow and it really, really helps hydrate my skin and I also feel like it does have those anti-aging properties. You can read more about this. I'll have the products that I mentioned listed below. Um, but this I really, really love and it is a little bit more on the pricey side, I think but it's, it's totally worth it. I would definitely repurchase this. Another product from Ole Hendrickson is the Glow 2.0 Dark Spot Toner. This has been raved about recently. I feel like everyone's been talking about this, so I had to give it a try. I have a lot of dark spots. I have a lot of scarring from acne all over my face. Um, you would never be able to tell because makeup does a great job of covering that up. I don't have any current acne, like active acne, but I just have a lot of scarring and dark spots all over my face. I'm more than halfway done this bottle and I've really enjoyed it. I love the scent of this too. And this is from their Transform like collection. So there's different collections and different colors. They have like a blue uh, collection. They have the like 
nur Nurture Pink Collection. I actually do have a moisturizer that is the blue collection one. It's actually um, it's actually right here. It is the Transform Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. Sometimes I use this before makeup. Um, that's an okay moisturizer. I don't feel like I need to share it as a favorite, but I do love this toner. And I cannot wait to see if it continues to help my skin. It also does tingle and sting a little bit when you put it on, but I actually kind of enjoy that. I know some people get like freaked out by that, but I really enjoy it because I feel like it's actually working. It's the same when you put like an acne treatment over a pimple and it stings really bad and you're like, yes, it's working. Like that's, that's kind of what I think when I put on stuff. Like it doesn't make my skin irritated. It doesn't make my skin red. I just kind of feel like it's working when I can actually feel it sink into my skin and has a little sting to it. So some people might not like that, but I actually don't mind it. Two other products that I've actually really been liking, the Glow Recipe Masks. I got two of these. I actually have the moisturizer of this one, but I've really just been using the masks more than just the regular moisturizer. This is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, Glowing Radiance and Softening. It's actually like a jelly. It's, it's crazy, the consistency of this. I can't even describe it. But it is so cooling, and I love how moisturizing it is. My skin just instantly feels hydrated when I put this on. And I'll usually use these before I go to bed. I thought with the consistency of the product, it would be very, like, watery and, like, slippery, and I would need a lot. But you literally only need, like, a fingernail full, <laughs> a little finger full of the mask, put it all over your face, and I am like good to go. I love this one. They also have the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask, and this is moisturizing and firming. This one's a little bit thicker. Again, I don't need much of this. Um, I like this for those days where I'm really dry after doing a lot of like acne treatment, spot treatment. Feeling like my skin is just super dried out, I'll use this one because it's a little bit thicker in consistency and just a different feeling to the face. But I really, really been liking these products. So moving on to makeup, um, I want to share a few of my loves recently. I actually have one product that I used before I put my makeup on, but it is, I guess, technically skincare. Um, it is the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics. I love this moisturizer. It is very thick, very hydrating, and I've gone through probably like two of these. It is a little pricey, but I feel like you get a ton of product, and you, again, you only need a little bit. And it also has anti-aging armor. Um, it is an anti-aging product, so you are getting that benefit as well. I love anything that is anti-aging. I'm in my mid-20s now, and I am doing everything I can to protect my skin. Um, okay, so makeup products. I want to show you guys a few palettes that, that I've been obsessed with. One that I've been using a ton is this Cheerleader uh, Benefit palette. It is the Bronze Squad. I came out with two of these and I've been reaching for this one a ton. I love the new Hoola colors that they came out with. Um, they have the Hoola Caramel and the original Hoola in here. And then they have the Coralista, this Cookie Highlighter, which is bomb, and then the Gold Rush Blush. I have tried these blushes before. They're okay, but I've really, really been loving the bronzer and the highlighter in here and I, I actually have the Hoola Caramel bronzer in a single so usually I'm not traveling with this big palette I'll just bring that but I just love this highlight it is so stunning I've been using this a ton I actually don't have it on today but it is so so pretty it's like a pink like champagne color and what I've been doing for my contour recently is mixing Hoola and the Caramel um, Bronzer. And I will do all of that like all over my face to kind of bronze like in my contoured areas. And then I'll go in again with just the original Hoola and just really like sharpen up my contour. So I've just been loving this palette and I've been using it pretty much every single day. Two other palettes that I've been so obsessed with recently Ever since I got these, um, I've been using these on the daily as well. And if you guys have noticed, like in my vlogs, I do more of like a warm toned eye. I've been using a lot of like kind of orangey tones and just love like the pinky orange, um, kind of like this color too, just like all the warm tones. 
and I just feel like they also complement my brown eyes as well like they really make them pop so I've been loving these two palettes from ColourPop this one is stunning this is uh, the this ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Power Palette these shadows are stunning they have a few really really shimmery ones kind of like pressed um, pigments I actually have worn a lot of these just like in the inner corner as a pop of like glitter and I've gotten so many compliments on them and then all of the like warm tones in here like today I am wearing West Side which is this color a little bit of Dream Maker which is like the pinkish tone color right here and then I'm also wearing Work It which is a really pretty like transitional um, like warmish orange color. I'm not good at describing stuff. And then Catch Me, which I have is that in my crease as well. So just a bunch of warm tones. It's kind of hard to see the colors, honestly, with the holographic like background. Um, and it's, it's also, also really hard to read the shades, but I have just been obsessed with this palette. Absolutely loving it. And the colors, just the whole palette just screams like summer to me. This other palette is a little bit different. This is the Give It To Me Straight palette. And this one has a mixture of kind of like purpley tones. This again I feel like would really complement like brown, green eyes. Um, and I've been using this color right here, which is like a highlight color uh, called Upfront. I've been using that in my inner corner and my brow highlight. And I've been also using Truth Hurts, again just like a nice transition color, and BS and Downright all the neutrals um, but there's also some really nice shimmers in here I've used straight up I've used candid and this is just another like very neutral palette but it also has some really nice kind of purpley reddish tones I just really really enjoy this palette too so I've been grabbing these honestly on the daily every single day I'm wearing these so I figured I would share those my absolute favorite setting powder right now, and I've probably, this is probably my third one that I've repurchased, is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I use this to set my under eyes, and I use this to set my whole face. I was using this in combination with the Hourglass uh, Translucent Powder, and I'm, I, the Hourglass one is okay, but I don't think it's worth the price. Like, I don't think it's worth repurchasing. I enjoy using it, like, whenever I can. But I just love this. I just feel like I feel like it just works so well for my skin and it keeps my oil at bay. And I get mine in translucent light. I also have the compact version, so when I'm on the go, I will keep this in my purse. <laughs> There's some hair flying around. Uh, and then this is great to blot with. I use this all the time to blot my face throughout the day. And I also have this in light. So really, really liking that. Another thing that's kind of weird is what I've been using with my foundation is this gigantic, look at how huge this is. This is like half of my face, huge. So this is a Real Techniques sponge. Now, you guys know of the just regular Real Techniques sponge that's like orange. Probably and about half this size, maybe even a little less, and I don't think I have one on hand. But it's the orange one that, and sorry this is dirty. This one is actually a new one that came out, and I got this at Ulta. On the packaging of this, it actually said it could be used for self-tanner and the body and then also the face. But I decided to use it for the face. It didn't look as big because it's actually blown up a little bit more because it's still damp. But it didn't look as big in the packaging, and then when it, I put water on it, it really blew up. I mean, this thing is huge. I have to say, I haven't used this for my body yet, um, but I have been using it for my foundation every day, and this has made applying my foundation so much faster than normal. I think because it's so large, I can just like easily boom, 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 and I'm done my whole face. Like it doesn't take forever with a smaller sponge to really blend everything out. So I've actually really been liking this, even though it's so big, um, I don't feel like I have a hard time getting in between like my eyes and like all the crevices. I feel like it works really well and with it being so large I get done my face so much faster. So I figured I would mention that. Um, and then the foundation that I've been using and loving recently, and I did wear this on my wedding day. If you have not seen our wedding video, I'll have that link below. 
um, but it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And you guys have been asking so much in the vlogs, what foundation are you wearing? What foundation? It looks so good. It's most likely this. I've been wearing this pretty much every day, and I have two different shades that I kind of mix. So I have 2N2 Buff, and then I have 3N2 Wheat. And I kind of combine these. This is kind of like my shade right now, but um, when I'm a little bit tanner, I'm 3N2 Wheat, and then... When I'm a little bit lighter, I'm 2N2 buff. But I like to just combine them. I feel like I'm never just one shade. I always am combining shades and making my own because uh, it just works for me. But really, really liking the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is more full coverage. And with all my acne scarring and just like breaking out so badly, I've been needing a full coverage foundation. Now, I might switch over to a different foundation in the summertime because I don't like to wear a ton of makeup in the summer and I did recently get another tube of the IT Cosmetics CC cream which is definitely full coverage but it has 50 SPF in it so I feel like that's really great for summertime so I'll probably switch over to that. Whew, okay so moving on a few more things for makeup. I want to um, mention this mascara that I just found in one of my makeup bags the other day and decided to try out because I was, I was running low on one of my mascaras the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black that is what I wear every single day and I was getting dried out so I was looking for another mascara frantically just looking for something to put on my lashes and I decided to pull this guy out and I love this like this is probably my new favorite mascara if I'm gonna get something a little bit more high-end I feel like as far as mascara is concerned I wear lashes so much that mascara isn't that big of a deal to me like I kind of just put on anything but my absolute favorite is the L'Oreal Carbon Black the voluminous um, it's cheap, it's at the drugstore, and I just always have a ton laying around. This is the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit, and I feel like I've shown this in a previous video. It has a really skinny silicone wand, and I actually love this because it's so easy to get under your lash line, and it's also great for your lower lash line because it can get the really small lashes. It's so thick, it's so black. I feel like my lashes actually look decent without wearing falsies with this mascara. Really, really enjoying this mascara. Give it a try if you're looking for a new one. As far as lip product, I've really been liking this. I recently got this from Ulta and it's kind of been like my everyday lip gloss. Besides the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie, that's pretty much my everyday gloss as well, but I mention that so much, so I figured I would mention this one. I keep this um, in my purse every day and I just love it. It's a perfect nudie pink. It's from Morphe. This is their gloss in boho and I'm not gonna put it over my lips right now just because I have one of those Jaclyn Hill lip colors on but this is what it looks like I don't know if you guys can see that um, and again it's gonna look different on everyone's skin tone it's definitely probably more nudie on some people but on me it's more of just like a nice pinky nude gloss um, I love the formula of this I love the applicator it's definitely more of an opaque gloss it's not sheer so it gives you some color and I've really been liking this for just an everyday lip. So the last few items I want to share are hair care products and hair styling products. Um, kind of what I've been loving recently. And I could go on and on about like my whole hair care routine. I think I actually showed it on one of my vlogs recently. Now, I've lost a ton of hair and I am currently wearing extensions. This is not all my hair, but I've been taking such good care of my hair as much as I can because it's fallen out so much. I talked about it a ton over my vlog channel, so if you want to see that, you can hear all about it. But I have been using some products to help with that and also help with my scalp. I have extremely dry scalp and I have a lot of dandruff most of the time. It is something that like never really goes away. I've used medicated products. I have gotten things from the doctor and nothing's really worked. Um, but these are some things that I've really, really been loving and that have been working for my hair. So these three products kind of go together, um, shampoo, conditioner, and mask. But this is the Wella Fusion Plex Shampoo and Conditioner. It's like a white and rose gold packaging. You might be able to find this in Ulta. I'm actually not sure. I got this at Cosmoprof. Uh, Wella is a hair color brand. Uh, and I decided to try these out actually and I was going to be using them for a client because one of my clients had like really damaged hair and then I started using it on myself and I just fell in love <laughs> with these products. 
Um, and I did get a bunch of Wella products sent to me a while back. This shampoo and conditioner smells like heaven to me. I don't know what it is, but I actually started using this last summer. And every time I smell it, because I brought this down to the beach with me, every time I smell it, it just reminds me of summer summertime. It reminds me of the beach. Oh, I just love it so much. It smells so good. I cannot explain it. If I like, could just describe like what a heavenly shower would smell like, it would be these products for my hair. I mean, I, let's be real. I love Lush products. Lush shower products are like my favorite, like the Sleepy uh, shower gel. That's heavenly as well. But as far as my hair and what I would want my hair to smell like, Oh, I love these so much. So if you could get your hands on these, they probably sell them at like licensed professional hair care stores. I go to Cosmoprof. You can check out and see where you get your Wella products, but I recommend these even for clients that have damaged hair. It's intense repair shampoo and conditioner. And then they also have the mask. So I just, I use all three. And I switch up my shampoos so often. So I don't use this all the time. I use it whenever I feel like I need a good deep condition. I also use Kenra shampoo. I use Nioxin shampoo. But I just felt like I wanted to mention that because it is a summertime and it's bringing me back to last summer when I used it. And I'm using it again and I just, oh, I love it, love it, love it. Um, two other products. Now I have a bunch of Kristen S products that I've really been liking, but I figured I'd mention these two. I've gone through a few bottles of this. I'm getting down to the bottom of another. Uh, this is the Kristen S Leave-In Conditioner uh, Weightless Shine for all hair types, detangling, softening, strengthening, moisture sealing, shine enhancing. I love this for just an everyday get out of the shower and spray on leave conditioner. This is amazing. Kristen S products also smell amazing. If you have not smelled them yet, you gotta try them out. These are actually sold at Target they're really affordable, and I've really, really been loving her line. I actually so. have the leave-in conditioner. I also have the thickening spray. I have the hairspray. I have a bunch of her products, um, and I recently tried this one out. This is their um, Instant Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. This removes buildup and flakes, scalp soothing, hydrating and rebalancing, gently exfoliating and non-drying. As soon as I saw this, this is I think a new-ish product. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I need this in my life because I have some scalp problems. <laughs> so this is really great. This one also smells so good. It comes in like a tube like this. I just squeeze a little bit out. It's very, very thick. So what I like to do is squeeze it out into my hand, probably like a quarter size amount, and then run it through the water a little bit and just put it in between my hands because if you just put it right on your scalp, it's too thick to be able to like lather into your scalp. So I mix it a little bit with water and then I just scrub it into my hairline and all in my scalp and it seems to really help. So I've been using this along with the hair mask as well. And like I said, I change up my hair products all the time. So I'm not constantly using Kristen S and I'm not constantly using the Wella. I, I go back and forth every shower. I'm using different stuff because I never like my hair to get used to products because it just stops working for me. So it's been really great. I have really been enjoying this um, and something that I've never really tried. I've never really tried a scalp scrub before. I've tried medicated dandruff shampoos and stuff, but never a scalp scrub. So I like that a lot. Last two products. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. I'm really sorry guys. Um, two products that I'm loving from Kenra. They're like my top products. Now I do have a complaint with one of these products here. I love it so much, but the bottle has to go because I've gotten so many of these and I swear every single one of these has a problem with the with the bottle. Uh, this is the Kenra Platinum Voluminous Touch Spray Lotion. This is a silky bodifying lotion for the scalp and your hair. This is amazing. This I used before my wedding hair trial. I used it before my wedding day and the stylist before she did my trial, she's like, what did you put in your hair? Because your hair is so voluminous and my hair is really thin. I mean, like it is so thin and I don't have much hair on my head. I need the volume. I need the thickness. I use this on my clients. I have several bottles. One thing I have to say is the squirt bottle thing. It's like an aerosol can but it comes out as a spray lotion. I'll get a few really good uses out of it and it'll spray great. 
and then it'll just stop spraying and it'll be all weird and it just doesn't work well so then what I'll have to do is spray it in my hand and it's like a liquidy lotion and then put it into the areas of my scalp so I swear every single bottle that I've gotten of this has just gotten messed up or um, has been like funky so something needs to change with this Maybe it just needs to be in one of these kind of bottles you know what I mean just like with a regular I don't know but I love the product I hate the, the bottle but I love 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 the product this makes my hair so voluminous one thing I have to say though you cannot leave this product in your hair and just leave your hair like wet and air dry it will get crunchy and I'll feel weird you have to blow your hair out it can I feel a little heavy like and you might get a little build up if you use it and then let your hair air dry it is best for blowouts it's best to use it right before you blow your hair out so that is one tip for this product um, and then another product that I just love so much and this is probably my third bottle um, again this is Kenra Platinum line and you can probably find all this stuff at Ulta but I get mine at Cosmoprof this is the diamond deflect spray medium hold hairspray this smells heavenly <laughs> I, I swear, I just love good smells. It just makes taking care of myself so much better. I actually want to do my hair and I want to take care of my skin when things smell good. Is anyone else like that or do people just like fragrance-free stuff? Sometimes I enjoy the fragrance, sometimes I don't. But when it comes to my hair, I need fragrance. Also, I wear hair extensions so sometimes it gets a little funky smelling after using like hair tools. Um, I just love this hairspray. It never leaves my hair feeling like sticky or crunchy. It is just the perfect hairspray. And I just love the way it comes out. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like it could be like a perfume. I just love it. I actually brought this on one of my trips and all the girls were saying that this hairspray smelled amazing and they all wanted to use it. So get yourself this hairspray. You'll recognize it because all of Kenra products are silver and this is a new line that came out and it's black so yeah Kenra is one of my favorite hair care lines I use so so many of their products I love the blow dry spray I love the silkening mist I'm looking at all my products right now because they're all lined up uh, they have so many they have so many great products and they all smell so good too wow okay that was such a long video I think that is it I think that's all my favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it wasn't too long and dreadful to watch if you are here until the end and if you've watched the whole thing please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so so much for sticking through this video let me know if you tried any of these products if you like anything what you would suggest uh, and let me know if you want to see more of these videos I miss doing favorites videos I feel like they're some of my favorite videos to watch I just love hearing about you know new products that people are loving I miss and sitting down and just like chatting with you guys and talking about products um, I haven't done this in a while and it feels good. Right. If you would like, check out my vlog channel where I share my family and my daily life. I'll have a link below and at the end slate. You can also follow me on all of my socials. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.